so it's come and gone again unfortunately um, yeah another game where we should have won the game it's as simple as that Villa had their first shot on target in si on, on 69 minutes and look what happened a fucking goal are you taking the piss we were the better team throughout the whole fucking game the biggest problem we've had at this club for years is having a goal scorer it's just getting fucking pathetic now I'm seriously getting annoyed like come on boys what the fuck are we doing I'm going to be honest with you here yeah? Ollie Watkins you are a fucking cheat you are quite clearly holding, keeping hold of Mark Gahey there tugging his shirt and the referee doesn't do a single fucking thing are you taking the fucking piss like what are you doing referee you're there to use your VAR mate you can quite clearly see his t shirt is being pulled what are you doing you absolute nonce Hey guys, how's it going? Ed Star here, back with another Operation Palace video. So yesterday, finished Aston Villa 1, Palace 1. I don't know how we didn't win the game, if I'm honest with you. We had the better chances in the game. Villa were very lucky to get a point. I mean, at the end, maybe we were lucky to get to keep hold of a point. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, throughout the whole 85 minutes, we were the better team. And then the last five or so, they wanted to turn it on for their fans because actually they showed they gave a shit. But as far as I'm concerned, first 85 minutes of the game, we were the better team throughout the whole game. And once again, it comes down to the fact that we just don't have a goal scorer. It's just it's just getting ridiculous now. How, how many times do I need to keep saying this? If we don't have a striker, we're not going to score goals. And that's just going to put more pressure on us just to stay up in future seasons. Like, we need to be doing better than this. Like, we get, we get a goal scorer, but we could easily finish top 10, top 8. That's what this team is dying, crying out for. Like, don't no disrespect to John Philippe, but he's not the answer. We can quite clearly see he's not the answer to the problem. Edouard is not the answer to the problem. I mean, we just need that proven scorer that can just, you know, you could just get the goals. You know, simple as that. Stop keep relying on Wilfred Zaha all the fucking time. It's not fair on him. He doesn't deserve to be like be the headhunter of the team yeah, I'm sure he likes doing it but I'm sure he doesn't want to have to keep doing it I'm sure he wants to have somebody else to, sc you know, to, to score just so he can take the pressure off him he's got nearly 28% of our goals this season Wilf Zaha that's how good he's been like it took Jeffrey Schlipp off the bench to get for us to get a point out of the game but as far as I'm concerned you know we should have been out of the game long we should have been out of sight a long, longer time than that I mean, we had the better chances in the game. Gallagher had a shot from distance that was deflected and saved by Emmy Martinez. Um, Klein had a shot from the edge of the D. He should have, we should have scored there. Um, Zaha had a shot from about 20 yards. Good save from Martinez. You know, we just need that goal scorer that can just has that instinctive finish. That is what this team is missing for me personally. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into my player ratings very, very shortly, but yeah, for me personally, I'm very disappointed that we didn't get the win. You know, I felt we were the better team throughout the game. So yeah, that was also our 500th game in the Premier League as well, just to let you all know as well. Um, yeah, 15 draws this season. It's not ideal, is it? You know, we could definitely do a lot better than that. I mean... We've got joint amount of draws with um, the team from the coast, which I'm not going to name, but um, yeah, we've dropped 12th with that point because Brentford won against Everton earlier on, uh, later on in the day. Um, so yeah, let's get into my player ratings because this is going to be interesting to, just to just to let you all know. Um, starting off in goal, Jack Butland. I thought he was pretty. I thought he was really good. I didn't think he had any. Uh, he couldn't do anything about a goal. If anything, I thought it was a foul, um, as you got guys already can quite clearly see. Um, I don't think he did anything wrong. He made a couple of cracking saves in the end as well, which helped us preserve the point. But you know, I thought he was—I thought he was really good. Um, so I'm going to give Jack Butland a seven out of ten. I thought he was really good. 
Um, up next, I'm going to go with Tyrick Mitchell. Um, wasn't one of his best games, let's be fair. Um, in the end, he, he did contribute towards the end, you know, with good defending. Um, put um, Ollie Watkins off a couple of times. You know, I'm just going to call him a cheat because that's what he is. Um, so, in the end, I'm going to give um, Mitchell a 6 out of 10. I thought he was okay, but I did think he had a couple of wobbly moments. Um, next is Mark Gahey, who got the assist for Schlupp's goal um, from the corner, um, from the cross back in from Anderson. Um, headed it across to Jeffrey Schlupp and he finished it, so that was a nice um, moment for him, nice assist. Um, I thought he was quite clearly fouled. Quite clearly you can see that that's a foul. How the referee can't even fucking see that, I've got no idea. Um, so I'm going to give Jeff um, Gahey a 7 out of 10. I thought he was really good. Um, Anderson contributed to the goal as well. So again, have to take that into consideration. But there were a couple of times in that first half that he did get caught out. Um, allowed the shot to come in, which you shouldn't really be doing. Um, so I'm going to give Anderson a 6 out of 10. Um, just give me one second. Right, sorry about that. I just had to go and blow my nose. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to give Anderson a 6 out of 10. Um, I felt he could have done better. But, you know, those through balls are just ridiculous. You know, his long through balls. Definitely ridiculous. You know, we definitely need to keep hold of him for next season. 100%. Um, up next, I'm going to go for Nathaniel Klein. Um had a decent shot in the first half that was um, well saved by Martinez but yeah he was caught out of position quite a lot if I'm honest with you um, he didn't he didn't you know he, he was caught out of position quite a bit that's all I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna give him a 5 out of 10 um, next I'm gonna go for Luka Milivojevic I was quite surprised to see him in the starting lineup if I'm honest with you but he did an okay job, if I'm honest with you. I don't think he did too badly. But would I have him in my permanent starting eleven? No. Um, for the game against Villa, I thought he was he was fairly solid, if I'm honest with you. Um, he didn't really make a put foot wrong. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he didn't pick up a yellow card. Let me just quickly check. Uh, no, he didn't. He didn't actually pick up a yellow card. That is actually quite surprising. Um, yeah. I must admit, I was rather surprised that he didn't pick up a yellow card. So, yeah, I'm going to give a fair play to um, Melivojevic, and I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. I thought he was okay. Um, next, I'm going to go into Cheku Piate. I thought he had a really bad game. Let me know in the comments, but I'm sure I think he had a really, really bad day. He gave the ball away quite a lot. He picked up a yellow card as well. I don't think this is one of his best days. I'm going to give Kiate a 4 out of 10. I thought he was very poor. Um, next, I'm going to go into Eberetche Eze. Um, I think he had a quiet game. I don't think he had influenced the game too much. Uh, you know he's try still trying to get back to full fitness before the end of the season, but I think he had a quiet game. Um, I'm going to give Eze a 5 out of 10. Um, next, I'm going to go for... Um, Conor Gallagher definitely was a, you know, definitely tries to push us forward. You can quite clearly see he 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 knows the fans love him, but and he's been under pressure the last couple of weeks as well. But it's nice to see him actually start to drive forward. So I'm going to give Gallagher a seven out of ten. I thought he was really decent. Um, next, I'm going to go for um, Don Philippe Mateta. I just don't think he had any impact on the game. Um, you know, he always brings the ball down well. You know what you're going to get with him. Um, I he, he set up Klein for that chance in the first half. But I don't think he added too much to the game. And I'm going to give Mateta a 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to go for Wilf Zaha. He was probably our most influential player. Tried to go forward so much. He was constantly being found by McGinn all the game. I don't know how he didn't pick up a, a yellow card. I just... You know, the referee kissed their ass, asses, really, don't they? So, yeah, I'm going to give Zaha a 8 out of 10. I thought he was probably our brightest spot alongside Jeffrey Schlupp, who came on to score the goal. Um, Jeffrey Schlupp, you know, first touch of the game, and he gets us the equaliser. It's a brilliant, 
substitution by Vieira. I was thinking at the time, why is he bringing Schluppi on? But then again, I've said that twice this season and twice I've been wrong. So I need to stop getting on Schlupp's back and just get on with it. So, Schlupp, fair play to you, mate. Thank you for getting us the equaliser. And, um, yeah, that's 15 draws in 37 games this year. That is something that we need to work on next year. If we can turn those draws into wins next year, we could definitely do something next year. You know, we need that striker. You know, we need to be looking for a right back um, as Klein will probably leave the club in the summer. And um, we need that striker up top because Mateta and um, Edward are just not the answer for me personally. Um, so, yeah, let me know your... Um, I got the score prediction correct as well in the comments down below. So, I did say 1-1. One, one. I got that right. So, yeah, on to Thursday with Everton. This is not... That's not going to be an easy game. Everton are absolutely scrapping for their lives. And they can get even just a point out of that game. I'm sure they'll be safe. But that's going to be it for this um, Operation Palace video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, I'm planning to get some content out tomorrow. I don't have a, I don't have a lot of time today, unfortunately. But I am planning to get um, maybe two videos out tomorrow. So let me know. Um, so let me know if you're excited to see them. Um, leave a like on this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And until I see you for that next video, look after yourselves and stay safe, please.